Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at designing transport to keep it sustainable. Sustainable transport. Sustainable transport refers in the ways in which we're going to be using less energy in order to power our transport. Macro and local authorities, as well as businesses, try to do this in a number of ways. Firstly, we're going to look at how governments try to be able to promote transport to be sustainable. As part of the 2007 White Paper on Energy, the UK wanted to invest £35 million more on research and development of green transport, so less fossil fuels had to be used when we were perhaps driving cars or using buses. There are also new taxes for cars that were using less polluting fuels. So taxes were lifted on cars that used um, biodiesel as opposed to those that used standard diesel. Congestion charges were also implemented for standard cars. However, for electric cars which used less fossil fuels and polluting gases were given discounts. Local government initiatives. Local authorities also tried to promote sustainable transport in a number of ways. For example, the motorcycle owners in London were given a subsidy to switch to electric bikes. The London Santander cycles, formerly known as the Boris Bike Scheme, are also used in the city as an alternative to the car or tube transport. Of course, these don't pollute anything at all because they are bicycles, and because of this, you're going to make the transport that you use more sustainable. The Greater London Low Emission Zone is also an area where if you have a polluting vehicle, you're going to be taxed, and as a result, it gives people incentive not to carry much polluting vehicles. We can also have business space initiatives which try to promote green energy and green transport. Businesses are also promoting sustainable transport as a way to improve public relation. Toyota brought out the Prius, which is a car that runs on electricity. Many firms also produced catalytic converters, which used um, are to turn polluting gases into less harmful ones, and as a result make transport more sustainable. Here are some questions on designing transport to make it sustainable. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing your video, and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to have a go at perhaps going over the course and revise because this is the end of the AS Human Geography course. Good luck in your exam and I hope you do well. Thank you for watching the series and goodbye.